Uh, please. Yes, my name is Sandro. I'm a freelance journalist. Uh, I write for Shinwa News Agency. Um, uh, what is the expectation of South Sudan uh, for the coming of the uh, party? Okay, let me answer him first. Uh, I think that um, the coming of the Holy Father has a high expectation. And that high expectation is because uh, the Holy Father has a really a great love for the people of South Sudan. From bottom to top, uh, the Holy Father loves us more than other people because maybe because uh, we are uh, in this stressful situation what are the main important things that the holy father is going to talk about certainly i do i do not know but uh, certainly he is going to speak about peace about unity as the bishop have already said and these are the most important things for us uh, in south sudan uh, in order to cement the peace that we have here in South Sudan, and in order to at least bring people together for reconciliation, but also to give a room for each one of us to have this great dialogue, a dialogue between our people, uh, politicians, uh, church, denominations, and all this. Uh, it, is, it is seen from the coming of the Holy Father plus the other three great men. It is a communical pilgrimage, a communical pilgrimage for peace. And I think because of, of those uh, important uh, objectives that they are coming for it, I think we all of us will have really uh, cemented this relationship and cemented all the expectation that we want to happen in our country, uh, in South Sudan also from this direction. Thank you so much. <coughs> My name is Chuan, from Castle Radio Network. Whom do you like to ask? Because there are two of us here. It will go Better, to the yeah, yes. okay. Yeah, um, the citizen has a high expectation that they want to hear the message of Pope directly. What is the role of the committee to ensure that the message of Pope lead to everybody while there will be a tight security for the access of the areas where the Pope will visit. What are the other measures that we put in place to ensure that even somebody who cannot make it to the stadium or to the museum will be able to hear them? Thank you very much. It's a very, 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 very nice question. I think uh, through you people of the media, uh, we will uh, reach all our people in the remotest part of South Sudan. And I hope that all of you will collaborate in order to take the message of the Holy Father to the, uh, to the end of the borders of South Sudan and uh, the other to, the, to our neighbors. Uh, it is through uh, uh, these committees that we have settled, we have uh, uh, formed, that uh, uh, the security will be coordinated uh, between the church committees and the and the, and the national uh, security and other uh, protocols and other important necessary measures that are necessary for uh, the, the, the message to, to reach the people. But above all, uh, we uh, have our uh, bishop network of radios all over <coughs> South Sudan. Those uh, network of radios will try to reach all our dioceses and all our people in the remotest part of South Sudan. We hope through that, through the platform of the radio and the social media, uh, all the people will be rich. Thank you. So maybe Bishop can add something. Yeah, we also, as the Hajj Bishop said, we depend on you. You are the voice, you are also the the one who will uh, make it uh, reach to the people of God. But as the bishop also, we have also formed our uh, committees and there is a bishop responsible for that. And together with Father John who is also here to make sure that 
the message of the Pope reaches to the people. And it will not only be that day, even if the, after, the, the, after going back of the Holy Father, this same message will be carried on. It will still be a uh, work that will be done by all of us to, through media that this message will go to the people of God because it is necessary now. Thank you. Please also for our moms. Mm. Uh, my name is Peggy Jennifer. I report for the City Review newspaper. You said the relevant committees uh, that are organizing the visit of the Pope are very ready. And you said there will be a communal prayer at the museum. Uh, given the fact that the committees are ready, can we know the program uh, that will be carried out? Once the in the previous program, one of the programs for him to visit the IDP. Mm. Uh, thank you very much for, for the question. Uh, I think uh, probably uh, we are ready with all the different committees, um, and uh, we have uh, tried to divide the committees' concern uh, in regard to the arrival and the ecumenical prayers that will be held uh, at the uh, John Gerenks Mausoleum and then with different uh, churches in, in Qatar and in All Saints Cathedral and in the Presbyterian Church. Uh, all these locations have been secured and uh, many of our committees have visited these places and so this, those places are ready for uh, the, the Holy Father. The main point that you mentioned lately was the question of whether the Holy Father will go to the, uh, the, the IDP's camp here in Juba. Uh, certainly, with the health of the Holy Father, Pope Francis, uh, it is not easy for him to go to the IDP camp that we have here in Juba. But we have an alternative. The alternative will be to call the, uh, the IDPs to come in good numbers. At least we estimated at least uh, uh, 2,000 will be invited to meet the Holy Father at uh, the, the Freedom Hall. And in fact, this will include people from Bor, people from Malakal, people from Wau, uh, people from Bentu, and people from also from Tombra. And so it is extended. Uh, to the poor people and including also we will the Holy Father will meet also the children and he, he will also meet the people with the disabilities and so all this have been planned and we hope that uh, that and when the time comes we will see by our own eyes whether these people are present there but I think uh, people are prepared uh, to bring people to the spot where they are needed to meet the Holy Father. I think one more question that we can close. Yeah, maybe Bishop, the Bishop can add something. Yes. There is someone who is Let me see. Eh? Uh, Let's give chance to... The foreign journalist. Yeah. <laughs> Melissa, I, I used that. I, I used that one. Please, please, welcome. Thank you very much. In fact, I have two questions. One is about uh, the people who will come to Juba. You have mentioned that they should start their journey. Do you have an idea of the number of people who might do this uh, journey on foot or by other means? And secondly, what is your expectation on the, the visit of the Pope, the, its impact on the peace process, on the leaders of South Sudan? Okay, thank you. For the people who will be coming from different places, uh, the Bishop of uh, Tumbarayambio has a big group coming. They may come by land. The Bishop of Rumbek, they might start these coming days a pilgrimage on foot. They will start moving around Rumbek, stationing in a particular parish. They will pray there until they reach to Juba. For us in Malakal also, we will try, but you know where Malakal is. But at the same time, Bor is part of the Diocese of Malakal, and people <coughs> will be coming from Bor. Of course, the Bishop of uh, Tori is here. People will be coming from Torid and people from be coming from Ye. 
uh, and <laughs> it is not a, an easy preparation with also some kind of uh, insecurity on the way you might know but people with this because the coming of the holy father is very crucial for, uh, for <coughs> god the other part of the question i will leave it to the high bishop the impact on of the, uh, the, the the political leaders for the coming of the holy father uh, thank you very much uh, because the Holy Father is not coming for only to visit the church. He is coming to visit. Uh, he has been invited by the state, the South Sudan uh, uh, government. And so he is above all uh, the, the visitor to the nation. Secondly, he is also a visitor to, to all our churches, ecumenical churches because the Holy Father has really uh, all the people in his heart. He does not segregate people. And so our brothers Muslims are also invited, uh, or those who are from the traditional religion, they are also invited. As to whether uh, this visit will uh, impact on our question of searching for peace and reconciliation, I understand that the Holy Father is making this pilgrimage uh, in order really to reach our hearts personally and touch them with the, his uh, prayers and that the Spirit of God should be present in our uh, uh, agreements. Uh, the implementation of revitalized peace agreement should not be talked uh, with a word of mouth but should be put under implementation by letter and the spirit. Uh, we hope that the coming of the Holy Father will really make us realize this uh, aspect really for peace, peace in this country, and to touch the hearts of the politicians so that they put their hearts together. After signing of the revitalized peace agreement, what next is to bring our hearts together together as politicians, together as religious people, and all of us together, we put our hearts together. That is the realization of peace. Without that, we are not going to get any, any peace. So I, uh, my expectation is that uh, this Holy Father is coming really to show that he is serious about the question of peace for <coughs> South Sudanese, whoever is there, politicians alike children alike, everybody alike. So we, we need to emphasize uh, the message of peace that the Holy Father is coming, the message of reconciliation that the Holy Father is bringing, uh, uh, the, uh, the message of uh, ecumenical message that all of them, uh, three uh, religious leaders, are coming to, to say to us, people, let us put our hearts together uh, in this pilgrimage of uh, peace uh, may this peace remain with us. We hope that that peace that they, they, they come and pray for will remain with us as South Sudanese and as different people uh, re religiously and also socially uh, and that all this killing around the country should come to an end. We hope that is that should be for me I consider as a deadline. If we go beyond this deadline 